the show that everyone is talking about, Riverdale. So after three episodes, I'm going to give you guys my first impressions, my favorite characters, and of course, the ships. <music> guys, 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 if you have not seen or heard of this show, what rock have you been hiding under? The storyline of this show gets you hooked like no other show before. The characters are great. So, speaking of characters, I'm going to go ahead and discuss my favorite and least favorite characters of the show. Let's start out with one of my favorite characters, Jughead. And yes, I love Jughead better than I like this guy right here. I mean, how can you not? All the people I've talked to said they like Archie better than Jughead. That Jughead is too bland. Jughead gets no action. Hey, at least Jughead's not going around playing hanky-panky with teachers. I mean, come on. How can you not like this guy? I mean, really? Jughead is just... He cares for a lot more people better than Archie. How... No, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to make this into a rant video. But anyway, on to my next favorite character. We're going to go with Betty. I mean, Betty gets treated with so much crap. And she's so nice. All she said was that she liked Archie and that she saw them as a couple. But Archie couldn't even do that right. And it's not just Archie who treats her with such little respect. You want to go with someone else who treats her so poorly? Look no further than her so-called best friend, Veronica here. If I was a cursing man, I would use every word in the book to describe Veronica. How do you look yourself in the mirror. And I'm not going to lie, your character got a little better as episode 3 continued. But throughout the first two episodes, I knew you were trouble the first time I saw you. So you can't fool me. You may fool a nice young lady like Betty, but you can't fool me. Next, I'm going to go over my favorite, other favorite character in the show. One that no one never really mentions, but I just, I, I love her character. And that's Cheryl Blossom. Her sass and independence drives me. I feed off of it. It makes the show way better than it is. The show is actually pretty good, but she makes the show excellent. She is by far, along with Jughead, my favorite character on the show. I wish I shipped them, but there's only been three episodes, and they've had no kind of interaction in the show. I would love to see you interact these two characters right here. But moving on, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the ships. Guys, with the ships, I wish that I could tell you that I've made a decision and we can let the war begin. But technically, with this triangle, I technically have not made a decision. However, if you saw the previous portion of my video, you do know that I adore Betty more than I adore Veronica. And with great reason. So let's go ahead and then discuss it. Now, with the triangle between Betty, Veronica, and Archie, Betty and Archie have the better backstory with being friends since they were little. However, the show has it set up where Veronica and Archie have the same amount of chemistry. Wow, way to go. Now, this is a great show, but some of these storylines that I'm hearing just don't seem to add up. So let's go ahead and talk about our boy Archie here. Archie... I just don't know what to say about you. How are you going to choose a cougar in Miss Grundy over a queen and then lie about it? I mean, the lie you told was crazy. You're too perfect for me. Art, I'm seriously believing that we have another Lucas Fryer on our hands with our buddy Archie here. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I mean, just watch this clip. You are so perfect. I've never been good enough for you. I mean, really? Who, when did you come up with that? How long did it take you to come up with that? So not only do you lie and break Betty's heart, you go and you kiss Veronica in the closet. I mean, who do you think you are? I mean, really? How are you going to kiss this girl you barely know? So, my message to you, Archie, in a little bit, I'm going to be making ship decisions here. 
and I'm gonna need you to straighten up. If you're gonna be the right one for Betty, which I hope you will, you're gonna need to straighten up or I will totally go and hop on the Jughead and Betty ship. Believe me. Now let's go ahead and move on to Veronica. And like I said, I just can't stand her right now. Now in the third episode, she straightened up because she tries to go and hang out with this other guy. And the apology in part two was just all out horrible. I mean, really, do you really expect me to believe that you're going to stop being the little B that you are and you're going to be Betty's real friend? I mean, be real with you, if I were Betty, Cheryl Blossom would be my friend. But you know what? I'm going to give you another chance. And you did a good job in episode three. I'm going to need you to continue. One slip up and you're done. I have my eyes on you. And the funny thing is, she really tried to act like she was doing everything for Betty's best interest. Like she was going to try to help Betty with Archie. Like she was stepping aside. But then it turns out her feelings came out. I think I've heard that storyline before. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm guys, I really enjoyed this show. And I hope you guys do too. I'm sorry I haven't decided on a ship. The war will begin soon. So guys, let me know who you guys ship in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. And for more Riverdale videos, hit that subscribe button. And we will see you guys in the future.